Hey guys, this is Max for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to convert your PSX games, um, PSX images actually, into um, eboot file, um, which then you can play it on your PSP, um, like you'd play ISO files. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is this folder here. Um, so I'll be pasting a um, um, download direct download link for you into the description so what you need to do is just click on it and it will just take you to the download link which then you can download it directly off um, okay so it's not really a big file so don't worry about it um, so Here's the site. Um, yeah, it's me. Uh, so, for those of you who's familiar with it, I use it a lot as well. Okay, so just click on download and I'll start. Obviously, okay, I'm not gonna download it, so you can't download it. And all you get is a um, um, compressed folder. Then you can just extract the using WinRAW, and what you get is this file here. Like I said before. Um, you then can just click on this icon here it'll, it'll take you into this thing here it looks difficult to use but actually it's really easy when you get used to it so what you need to do first thing is you load up your PSX image file here you can drag and drop or you can browse it using your browser anyways um, you can output your folder into desktop either desktop or I use I use um, I I output it um, directly into my PSP memory stick um, game um, PSP game folder, which is easier because you don't have to copy and paste and wait for it to um, you know yeah wait for it to copy and paste. So it's easier really. So after I've done that, um, you can then create your P PNG image and whatever you call. Them. Um, um, all of these are waste of time, like I said, um, because what it did does is um, you have to convert a whole lot of pictures um, and stuff, so it's really difficult. Anyways, um, all I do is this one here, the first one. That's just a picture for your PSP um, icon, so um, you can put the preview on if you want. This is where my picture is gonna come up, like that. So yeah, it's 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 a simple one. So it's it saves your time. Well, um, for those of you who um loves loves to um you know make your game icon appear pretty um beautiful whatever um go ahead and waste your time on this. I'm not going to. So anyways, um what you do after that is you hit go and then it will just directly. Um, convert it into your PSP memory stick or it will be per um, converting it onto your desktop all you get after that is let me just um, connect my PSP into USB mode okay so what you get is like I said, I like to um, convert it directly into my PSP game folder. So for those of you who does it, um, it's really a lot easier, saves you time as well. See PSP um, game, and this is what it creates. Actually, it creates the file in here. These two files: it's ibu pvp and the key file, which you will need obviously um, what you do is when you have these two files out here you just create a new um, folder and you need to copy and paste its game ID um, remember how I said there's a game ID um, in here um, game title game save game ID this is the game ID um, what you need to do when before you're converting it you need to select your game title to make sure that the game ID is the same and make sure that game title and game save is the same as well so make sure that sorry I didn't mention it before but um, yeah you need to make sure that anyways you copy and paste your game ID and then you just 
pasted as a as the new folder's name like this one here anyways what you will then get is this folder with these two files in there so um, you nearly completed your um, you have completed your convert conversion and you nearly did okay so you just have to exit and what you will do then is you will go to your game in your memory stick um like i said um any i didn't say sorry um you actually need a custom firmware for this so, so don't forget it, it don't 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 ask keep asking questions on uh, why is this not working on my psp do you need custom firmware obviously you need custom firmware so um keep that in mind if you don't have custom firmware don't try this um obviously it won't work so I, um this is what it will come up like i said i i, I only did the uh the icon png so this is how it comes up so for those of you who make your game want to make your game prettier uh how it shows like this game here see the uh animation yeah you want to make it like that then go ahead i'm not going to so what you can then do is just click on it and play i'm not going to do it um yeah so um that's it um hope you enjoyed my video if you have any question go ahead and paste a comment i will um i will um sorry about that um i will um you know answer back your question as soon as possible because it's school holidays right now i can be able to answer back your question as soon as possible i'll be checking back afternoon um on my youtube account so yeah go ahead and paste as much questions as you want i will answer them back um for those of you who um for those of you who um have you know difficulties trying to um make it work even if you have custom firmware then um i suggest you uh yeah if my questions doesn't help you then obviously you need to check back on other youtube um youtube accounts where they made um the same video as mine so yeah um hope you enjoy my video and um i'll see you soon